Hey, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Subnautica, the underwater sea-based game, as it would be underwater because it's sea-based, survival game, and we're going to talk today about finding Eye Stalk Seed. Now, for those of you who are following through the mission, Eye Stalk Seed is, and spoiler alert, part of the hatching enzyme, which is what you need to complete the game. Now, once you get to a certain point in the game, um, it gets revealed to you what's included in this hatching enzyme. And then you have to go out and do a bit more grind to go and find some of these plants, some of these seeds that are going to enable you to get this hatching enzyme. And if you haven't seen it already, there's a video out there on how to get another ingredient um, called seed crown seed, which is really close as well. Anyway, we're going to talk about ice stalk seed and how to get that nice and easy. Now when I say nice and easy, nothing in Subnautica is nice and easy unless you know exactly where you're looking at. Now here you are, I'm in the Sea Emperor, Sea Empress facility. Okay, you see the big pool. If you dive in here, which I'm about to do, you will see the massive Sea Empress floating around. And if you've gone through the, the set piece where the Sea Empress reveals to you the hatching enzyme to enable to let her baby eggs hatch uh, and let them into the world, then you know you're after this enzyme, okay? This hatching enzyme. One of the ingredients is the eye stalk seed, as I mentioned. And once you're in there, you first of all, you've got to realize, well, how do I get out? How do I get back to the facility that effectively contained the Sea Empress, the Sea Empress containment facility? You've gone through, you've gone through the lava river, the hidden, the lost river, you've taken your cyclops down, you've got a prawn suit, you might not have had a prawn suit, who knows, you've got there anyway, and you've gone through the lovely cut sequence. Easy way to do this is to find the portal that you initially open in this set piece of the game, and if you haven't done that, check out one of my other videos on how to do it. The Sea Empress is floating around, it's not going to bother you. You'll find a group of eggs, and you'll find a receptacle where you put a green cube that opens the portal and it takes you back to the alien base um, that's on the hidden island. Okay, if you don't know where the hidden island is, then you have no business really watching this because it's going to be spoiler alert for you all over. Anyway, from that initial portal that you've opened under the water, you'll see the location for crown seed, uh, sea crown seed as well, which is one of the ingredients. You're going to go to that portal. And then from that point, you're going to turn back around 180 degrees. And then you're going to start to go directly ahead of you. Once you start going directly ahead of you, you're going to find a little antechamber. Go into the antechamber, as you can see on the screen. A little platform will raise up on the right-hand side here. This will contain um, a precursor ion cube. You might want to pick that up and you want to use it to open this portal here. Now, as soon as you go through here, don't go too high because you'll drop to the floor and incur some damage. Place your ion cube there. That opens this lovely portal. That will then allow you to transport you Stargate style or Subnautica Stargate style back to a higher level in the containment facility. Once you're on this containment facility, you're then able to go back upon yourself and get back into the main atrium. So here we are, you can see the pool that we jumped into to get some orientation of where you would be when experiencing the, the Sea Empress. You can go back through that gate if you wanted to go back to that antechamber underwater. But we're going to drop down, won't incur much damage. Uh, and you can see some elevated platforms rising up to the part of this particular building that we want to go to. So we're going to head all the way over there. There you go up this elevated path you can see i've got my cyclops parked all the way over there at the entrance the doggy paddle moving on doing a bit of jumping in through this lovely um corridor all lit with green and you come to the point where there's a massive pile of ion cubes in the middle which you need to mine with um uh, the prawn suit if you have it uh, and there's all these artifacts in here now when you first get into this area you can scan all of these to boost your data bank and that's fascinating. It really is, you know, uh, and it's a really good part of the game where the Subnautica developers have really thought about this, this game anyway. Right. So there's your entrance. You've just come through that. Turn around. There's your ion cubes. OK. And that platform goes up and down. One, two, three entrances. Now I've marked this, the Eye Stalk Seed Portal. You go through there 
And who can guess what's through this this antechamber? You've got it. It's going to be another transportation Stargate, Subnautica Stargate portal, which you can then activate with um, another green ion cube. Okay, so make sure you've got some of those. If you haven't brought your, your prawn suit with you and they're lying around everywhere. Uh, jump through that teleportation portal. Here we go. And it takes you to an underground fauna cave. All right. Um, it's quite weird, this. But as soon as you get through, be very careful. There's mechanical spiders. Again, you know, influences taken from Stargate here. So these mechanical spiders, if you get close enough, you can scan them. But they are going to give you a bit of a sting and you are going to curse some help off. A few pink caps laying about, some mushrooms. Um, you can pick those up if you want to. Not entirely sure what to use those for, but I've picked a few up. Very good for the garden anyway, back at the base. And you have to follow the path all the way around. Now, you can have a good explore. You can go down some levels and you know you're immediately if, you, if you've gone wrong because they'll be dead ends, a bit like this one, okay? Turning your light on, it's a rocky dead end. You know you've gone the wrong way. Effectively, what you need to be doing is, is following the... the path. You want to follow the path, the elevated path, uh, the twisty turny elevated path that's got all the um, alien triangular path markers on it, like that. That's an alien triangular path marker. That's what I'm going to call it anyway. So you're going to go around there. You're going to follow that path all the way down, looking at the stalactites and looking at the stalagmites. It's going to be fantastic. That lovely green hue. Follow it all the way down, dodging any living spiders, and you're going to come yourself to an airlock portal. Okay? No dramas there. You know you're on the right track, and you've got some entrance lights there as well. Now, I've put a beacon there. Now, jump out. You're in the water. Swim all the way down. A few items of quartz knocking about. Some other fauna. There's some tiger plants. But effectively, keep on looking around and it's not going to be long before you can see that idyllic glow of an eye stalk seed. And there you are. It's all off that main antechamber. It couldn't be any easier. Get yourself all the way down there. Get your knife out. Take a sample of the eye stalk seed and you are one ingredient closer to get in the hatching enzyme and complete in the subnautic again. So a little bit long winded, but I think you had to know how to get out of the pool and back to this location. Uh, you have to orientate yourself. You've got to be careful of the spiders. And then just as the sea crown seed is really close, so is the eye stalk seed as well. And that's a case of getting yourself back up, taking yourself down to the level and you can get yourself back through into the Sea Empress and to the main antechamber where all those items are in their glass cases. Hey, I've been Ricardo and thanks very much for watching. This has been How to Find Ice Stork Seed in Subnautica. Subnautica is available on the PC, the PlayStation and on the Xbox and it's a really good game. I've been playing it on the big screen TV with a Steam controller as well linked up to my PC and that has been absolutely fantastic. Anyway, like I say, swim safe, you're one step closer Thanks very much for watching. Check out other Subnautica videos on my channel. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. See you soon.